Welcome back to the Rev and Evan channel. Today, I got more Maverick stuff for you. I'm up in Pennsylvania at the Dutch Classic at Maple Grove Raceway. This used to be one of my favorite races. I haven't been here in a while, but we're back up here in Division One, hanging out with all my old friends. And you guys love Mavericks, so I ran into my man Dwayne Hoven. He's been running this Maverick for a long time. You've owned this car a long time, right? 1979, I bought this car. I was 14 years old. Wow. And I go back with him and his brother, a bunch of Division One New Jersey guys. He's going to tell us about this thing. It does great wheel stands. And over the course of the weekend, you've run fast and you've set a new NHRA national record. That's correct. So tell us about the car, Dwayne. So, 71 Maverick Grabber. Um, I ran it with a Bosch 2 for years, bracket racing at Raceway Park when Evan was there. Um, I started driving my brother's Firebird, the Hard Times car, and I got the hook to decide to build a class car. So we decided to build a 302 Mercury combo for it. It's a 68 Mercury combo, rated right. 207, and uh, we just started having fun with it. So the car has some history. You, you got this thing, how old were you? 14 years old. That is amazing. And what was the powertrain in it when you got it? It's an original grabber car, but it was a 206 cylinder. Wow. Remember the first time, was it at Raceway Park? Raceway Park, yep. I put a 302 uh, Windsor in it. Right. And went 1350s at 101 miles an hour the first time I came out with it. Wow. So how long have you been running super stock with it? This will be my fourth year. Okay. So a little bit about NHRA super stock. In super stock, you can put any Ford engine or Mercury engine into any Ford or Mercury body and run it in the GT classes. So what class are you running in here? GT Q this weekend. I run P or Q with it. Okay. So tell us about the exact combo. And I know you said it's rated at 207, but tell everybody what that really means. So what it is, the factory horsepower rating on a Mercury 302 is 230 horsepower. NHRA looks at those numbers and they adjust them higher or lower depending if the car is fast or slow. This one's rated at 207. We have to run factory cast iron heads. We run small intake runners. For anybody who plays with engines, we only run a 130cc intake runner right. and a 49cc exhaust runner. We run a flat top piston. With the Mercury combo, I can run a 600 Holley carburetor. Okay. If I didn't, I'd have to run the Autolite with it. Right. And in super stock, you can run any valve train. Where in stock eliminator, you're limited to stock lift on the cam from the factory. Super stock, any valve train. So it's a solid roller, I'm guessing. Solid roller. And the top of the piston has to look stock, but you can run actually a lightweight piston. You can move the ring package, and you got to stick within the blueprint specs for displacement. So it comes out to like what, like a 312 or something? Comes out to like 312. Yep, exactly. That's what I'm guessing. And about 11 and a half to one compression when we when we blueprint it. Yep. Right. So you're on race gas, open headers. And like Dwayne said, you have to run the factory carburetor, but you can run any intake manifold as long as the carburetor stays in the stock location. Correct. So you can't, you know, you can't run, uh, you know, dual quads or anything like that. Right. Yep. So let's take a look at the engine. So grab a Maverick. What do you got to weigh? I have to weigh 3,060 in Q or 2,960 in P. Testo North America is the world's largest manufacturer of handheld test and measurement instrumentation and software for HVAC, food safety, pharma compliance, and combustion analysis. And you can check out Testo at testo.com. What's the previous quickest that you ever ran? And then did you run your quickest here or just set the national record in a different class? I did not. I set the national record. Last year here, when it was the weather was much better, um, I had gone at 1052 or 1054. Okay. Um, 
This year we had less barometer, a lot more humidity. I ran in Q, so I was a little heavier, and I went 1074 on an 1175 index, so I went 101 under. Nice. It's, it's kind of chilly here. Uh, it's definitely not Florida weather or Bowling Green, Kentucky weather where we were last, but it's a little bit wet out. It's been raining all night, and even though it feels cold, the barometer was terrible here so far. 28.90 today, it's even worse. It's Indy wow. barometer today. Yeah, this is not good for Maple Grove. Usually you come here to run your best ET, you get that cool, uh, cold October weather here yep. at Maple Grove up in uh, eastern Pennsylvania with those high barometers. Mine shaft conditions, as they say. <laughs> yep, I mean, I've set a couple records here, but let's take yep. a look at this thing. So talk to me about the carburetor. What intake are you running? Let's so get a little technical. It's a Holley 600. It's a factory 68 carburetor. They use these carburetors on the Comets and the Cougars, and they also put them on the 390s. Okay. Dean Oliver has done the carburetor over, so it's a Dean Oliver carburetor. I use a Parker funnel web intake. Um, so it's got the heads are done by uh, Anthony Sinto. He did the heads for it. That's um, an old school intake. I yes, mean, it is. That, is. that is not like anything modern. Nope. You hear funnel web and... Uh, the old school Ford Natics will know what that thing is. Yep, exactly. So um, it's got the cast iron heads. Anthony Sinto did the heads. Bob Whitaker helped me out on the first build with machine work. Right. He's since retired. Um, and now Steve, who used to work for him, is doing machine work now. So this engine will come apart right after this, and we'll freshen it this year. Okay. So talk to me about, if you can, the cam and uh, the bottom end of the motor. It's got a Eagle billet crank in it, or an Eagle 4340 crank in it. It's got Eagle rods. It's got a set of Ross pistons, older school Dykes Ross pistons in it. So I don't have a new modern CP piston in it yet. Um, it's got a comp cam, seven and a quarter lift, 268, 276 duration of 50 camshaft. Nice. With uh, Jessel rockers, 17 Jessel rockers on it. What size, so what? what is it, about 500 horsepower? It made 467. Okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's a lot of power considering yep. the factory rating and the compression ratio. And it makes peak horsepower at 72, but it carries it to 82. I only use 10 horsepower over 1,000 RPM. So where are you shifting? I'm shifting the car at 8, and I go through around 85. Okay. And a C4 and a 9-inch? C4, Eddie Horensky C4. It's got a dynamic Lupo 7-inch converter. It goes to 6,900, the stall on it. Okay. Um, it's got a 567 rear gear. Dan Grippa, who's on camera today, my buddy Dan, yep. we're actually talking about that. Guys are going to a 7-inch converter now. Yep. Why is that? Well, I guess they're finding with the lower horsepower engines and they're finding new stators and stuff like that, that they're more efficient. The 8-inch, you start, you've got to start putting negative pitch angle in to make these things flash high and they don't become efficient. This thing only goes, it only has 250 RPM of slippage at the top end with the 7-inch converter. Gotcha. So a couple little details that I can point out. You can talk more. You can see the motor plate up front, Dan, for keeping the engine stable in the car, so you don't have to run motor mounts. You can run in super stock, you can run an engine plate on the front and a mid plate behind the, back, the engine. Yep. And then, what do you got, about a one and five eighths inch It's a header? step header, it's one and five eighths to one and three quarter. Okay, nice, got the old school gold. Everybody loves the gold Moroso valve cover, Yep, Dan. I'd like to get another pair, but people just want too much money for a oh secondary pair. Oh my God, pair. and if you try to find these for a Cleveland, <laughs> oh, I, I got a set of, I found a set of chrome ones at a swap meet for 40 bucks mint, uh -huh. but gold, it's like 340. Right, exactly. So Dwayne, this thing leaves like a monster. I've seen you at Indy, I've seen you at Maple Grove. It's gotta be a blast when you cut it loose and the thing just leaves. How do you get a Maverick to do that? I guess it's just the way they make the, the torque and the, the converter and everything. We put the trans brake in the car, and the first time here, two years ago, I didn't have a wheelie bar in the car. <laughs> I let go of the button, and you could, if you put my name on uh, YouTube and you put Maverick or maybe can link it, you'll see the thing go straight in the air. And I actually scraped the Ford Motorsport license plate. It scraped on the bottom when I ran down the track with it. So at that point, my friend Alex Pogrichenko, he put a set of wheelie bars on it for the following two weeks later, and we ran wheelie bars after that because it was just undrivable at that point. <laughs> right, but what uh, what's the front suspension and rear setup? It has a stock sus uh, suspension with Langham Springs. Um, I have a set of, uh, what's his name? Uh, we're going to screw this up here. Are they sand sand hubs? Not sand tubs, the other one, the guy with the Firebird at races, the uh, stick car. I, I think I know who you're talking about, but I'm not sure. But an adjustable shock. Yes, yes, obviously. yes. So it's got an adjustable good shock, and then I have a set of fiberglass monos on the back. Let's cruise the back. With a set of cow tracks. So you're running strange brakes. Strange brakes. I love the Mickey wheel on this, and the, I love that it's got the stock grabber kind so of So a little side story on these wheels. 
my brother gave me these wheels. They were spare from the Firebird. Right. The fronts are Dan Fletcher wheels. They probably have more wins than I'll ever have in my life on them from these things. <laughs> That's actually pretty cool. That's a good note. So the back, you could tell, in super stock, you can put a 14-inch tire on here and tub the car out, but I'm assuming you're pretty stock it's back It's a 30 here. by 9 radial, yep. So it's kind of set up more like a stock eliminator car. Yes. Okay. And again, sporting that class racer sticker, my man Kenny Mealy. Yep. Car's got a great stance, it sits great. Are you running a stocker tire, nine inch? Yep. Yeah, 30 by nine stocker tire, yep. Yep, run the wheelie bar nice and high. Mm-hmm. Man, what a neat car. 16 volt battery, a weight box, a welding fuel pump, two and a half gallon fuel cell. Yep, look at the stock wheel tubs. Mm-hmm. Man, let's check out the interior. Again, Dwayne, you've always been about keeping it simple. All the cars you've always <laughs> raced yep. have always been uh, very basic, but very fast. But as basic a car as cars are, he's running a race pack, so he's getting he's got his data. You got the stock Maverick buckets over here. Is all the electronics? Look at that really clean wiring. So take us through a run, Dwayne. Show everybody what you do in the car. So, simple run on here. You'll do your burnout. We'll put the thing in gear. We'll hold the line lock, pump the brake. We'll do the line lock. We'll let go. We'll put the car back in first gear. We'll hit the the button for the race pack. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll run the car. As soon as I go through the lights, I'll put the car. There's a high gear neutral, so I can actually shut the car. As soon as I go through the traps, and when I'm done, I'll slow the car down, put it back in gear, and I'll drive back to the scales. Got the trans brake button in, in the trans brake button right here. Spot. Yep. So you're are you shifting manually or is it auto shift? No, I have an air shifter now. Air shifter? Yeah, the first one's in the air all the time. It'll shift second gear in the middle in the middle of the air. I know the four speed guys do it all the time, but it's a lot easier to do it this way. Well and the rules allow it, so why not? And the rules it's allow it. Yep. Correct. Oh, that's sweet. Awesome, man. All right, so super stock, you're also allowed, and I think in stock now too, an Normal aftermarket rate. radiator. Yep. So you got a nice small radiator, and then bring it in here. You'll see this on a lot of NHRA and other drag cars too. This piece right here in the upper radiator hose is a quick cool device that allows you to hook up to a system that has ice water in it, and it'll trade out basically the coolant or water that's in the motor that's hot for ice cold water so you can go up there and make max power on run or just cool it down quick. When we won class at Indy this year, right, which was a big feat for me this year, um, we had the heads out of temp gun. I had the heads down to 42 degrees with the chiller. 42? Yeah, 42 degrees. Yep. yep. The, my, my stock <laughs> eliminator car, the colder I could get the coolant, the faster that thing would go. Yep. We put 05 oil in it and uh, and ice it down. Yep. How many, how many quarts of oil do you run in this? Well, I normally run six, and I run four and a half. Uh, I got a big pan, a Steph's pan, so right. it really doesn't make that big of a difference with the big pan. The tie rods go through the pan on this one. Right. So, uh, but I'll run down to four and a half. What fuel do you run? I'm running the Cyclone 17 Sunoco now. Nice. Mm -hmm. Any idea what octane that is? 117. Oh, it's 117. It's like C25. Uh, I, I was kind of getting at it. Yep. Is it more like C11? C, but yeah, C25. this car likes a lot of time. We actually run 41 degrees this thing. Really? Yep. Wow, that's a lot. We dynoed it two degrees, two degrees, two degrees, and as soon as we were, uh, we dynoed it Barton's, and it, as soon as it went too far, we backed off and 41. Right. Right. Jamie's is the same way. The 289, we're running 40 in that thing. What? How much torque does this make? It made, it made 400, no, 350 pounds of torque it made. Nice. Yep. That's cool. All right, guys, so there you have it. Another Maverick for the channel. I know you guys loved the last one we did with the small block and the stick. We got a little bit something different here with a super stock car, and uh, we appreciate everybody as always. Don't forget to leave us a comment. Please subscribe to the channel. We love everybody out there. Dwayne, good Thank luck you very much. Uh, racing today. We'll show you some wheels up action, and have yourself a great day.